Hi, I'm Dr. Sheila Reyes from the Philippines reporting for Room Now from ACR 2020. I'd like to discuss the skip pain trial by Dr. Dennis Padami and colleagues with abstract number 0899 presented during the poster B sessions. Spinal pain and axial spondyloarthritis is a common complaint and can affect the quality of life in these patients. This study evaluated the efficacy and safety of secukinumab in reducing spinal pain and disease activity following a step-up dosing approach. Skip pain is a randomized double-blind multi-center study that enrolled patients with axial spondyloarthritis with active disease defined by a BASDI score of more than or equal to four with an average NRS more than four and inadequate response to two or more NSAIDs more than four weeks apart. Patients were randomized to receive subcutaneous secukinumab 150 milligrams or placebo weekly, then every four weeks at week four. At week eight, placebo patients were re-randomized to either secukinumab 150 milligrams or 300 milligrams up to week 24. On the other hand, patients who were originally randomized to secukinumab 150 milligrams were further classified into responders or non-responders based on their spinal pain NRS course. Responders were then reassigned to continue treatment with 150 milligrams every four weeks up to week 24, while non-responders were re-randomized to receive treatment with 150 milligrams or a step-up dose of 300 milligrams up to week 24. Now for the results. The primary endpoint was met with the proportion of NRS core responders favoring secukinumab over placebo. At week 24, further reductions in spinal pain was noted across treatment groups, especially those who were switched to the active drug at week 8. There were also pronounced improvement in ASDAS CRP scores. No new or unexpected safety signals were reported. In conclusion, secukinumab provided rapid significant improvement in spinal pain and low disease activity in patients with axial spondyloarthritis. I think this trial is worthy of our attention for two things. One, compared to other clinical studies in axial spa, this used spinal pain as their primary endpoint. And two, results are interesting to take note of because it provides clinicians an option for dose escalation of secukinumab in patients not initially responding to the drug. Follow me on Twitter at Rumarampa and tune in to Room Now for more videos and reports. Thank you.